Hello, you will never guess who I'm copying once again today. But before anything else, not to be cocky, but tell me I didn't slay this intro today. I'm in love with it. But anyways, today I'm here to share my favorite performers in K-pop. I consider myself a dancer, so I'm not coming from nowhere, but I'm no professional. So just take that as light as possible. Feel free to share yours on the comments if you want. Before going on, this list is very biased. Of course, all idols here I stand, so don't expect Timin or Kai here, for the simple fact that I don't stand them. I of course know how great they are. My eyesight is kinda trash lately, but my eyes still work. But I literally have nothing to say about them rather than, they're amazing. So I hope you understand. After all, no one need me saying how good they are. Everyone already knows it. Alexa is a little girl, but when the music starts playing, she suddenly becomes the tallest human on the earth. I think we all know that being a solo artist is not easy at all, especially if you were never part of a group before. You have the pressure to carry a whole stage by your own, of course with the help of backup dancers, but all the eyes are on you. You're the one singing, you're the one the camera is focusing on, you're the one with the most outstanding outfit and makeup, and yet, she always seems to be unfade by that. Alexa is a whole group by herself. She's an absolutely amazing vocalist. She can rap. And not to talk about her dancing skills because, oh, god. Girlie have the passion of five Normanis combined. Easily one of the best dancers in this industry, and the fact that she can perform like that while singing live is wild to me. Her concept fits her very well, because that girl is not a human by any means. Mami G. Hyo, surely the best performer in her group. Whenever you watch her perform, you can feel the burning passion she have on stage. Which is understandable due her training since she was 10. I also think she deserves the main dancer position, but unlike most people, I don't think Mina should lose hers. I don't know why people can't never just compliment Jahayo's dancing skills without bashing on Mina. I guess the desire of putting woman against woman never left those people. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of her solo, I can see that Miss Mom can carry the whole stage by herself. <laughs> I wanted to put only one member per group, but it was really hard to choose only one Billy member. I have four members on this list, so I choose Sua and Suki just without thinking much, because I really can't decide who I like most. Moon Sua have a kinda tomboyish vibe to her, which doesn't look too weird on more bright songs like Unoya, but she really shines a lot on strong songs like Ring My Bell. I don't think I was ever so in love with someone's stage presence than hers on this rap-based song. She was made for this concept. And now for Suki, I think we all saw her iconic fan cam. I know some people think she overdoes it, but I don't think so. And this is my list, so you just gotta bear with it. Unlike Sua, Suki's stronger side is on songs like Jinga Mingeo, where she can be all crazy and exaggerated. But even though rock is not really for her, she stills manages it very well. Now, for this gigantic mountain. San I believe is very polarizing. People have a lot of different opinions about him, even though I believe he goes a little too hard sometimes. It's nothing that bothers me. 
It only bothers me when he goes too hard that he distance himself from the rest of the members. Like he puts so much energy that the members can't follow him. Even Songwa and Wu Young who are kinda similar to him. But that happens only sometimes. No joking now. He really does look like he's been possessed by a demon when the music starts. He looks like a complete different person on stage. Him on the last Inception chorus makes me want him to become an actor someday. Man really looks like he was crying. Like his wife left him with no explanation. Taking everything they had with her. Leaving him with nothing. And you can clearly tell that he sacrifices singing to dance. I never hear him singing live. Only when he's not dancing, which is completely fine. I just wanted to point that. Let's go. Taeyong is one of the most attractive person on this industry. And that's not because of his looks. But for his confidence, he's one of the most confident people I ever saw. And that applies to his performances. He knows how good of a dancer he is. How attractive he is. So he's just unbothered. He don't care what people will think about him. He's just there to enjoy the moment. I also find it crazy how he does so much with his body. But when you see a whole group thank him, he doesn't outshine the other members. He even looks so smooth with his moves. I don't like to compare people, but I think he can be the next human. Both of them are very recognized for their dance and stage presence, and their vibe is also pretty similar. Yunjin always shown to us her professionalism since day one. The way she plays with her hair, with the camera, with her hands, everything is always on point, and she also looks like she's having so much fun in every stage. Which is always amazing to see, and since her group's whole primacy is being fearless and unbothered, and she fits this perfectly, she also exceeds a level 100 of confidence. Jennifer really don't care about what you think of her, I really want her to have an actual solo debut one day, with stages and everything, hopefully Source Music don't disband them after that, because we know that the success of their artists never stop them to do that. You ho, dangerous, we are met not an angel. Now to my beloved, to the reason of why I wanted to make this video, Mr. Won Hyuk himself, I fell in love with him so quickly. We should really talk more about them, Won Hyuk. As you probably don't know, he's a huge K-pop fan. He's not a fan of just one group. He's a fan of a lot of groups. And guess one of his alts? Exactly, a tease. And his bias is Sam and Hong Joon as far as I know. And you can clearly tell he uses them as examples and role models. The Ati's influence on him is very clear. Take everything I said about San and apply to him. And no, he's not a copy-paste of San. I mean, if you want a copy, at least copy from the right source. Am I right? But no, he's not another version of San. It's like inspiring yourself on another's person art style to create your own. He have a lot of attitude on stage. A lot of confidence as well. I do believe he exaggerates a bit on the facial expressions. But same as I said for San, is nothing that bothers me. I want to have BTS level of fame, so just I can promote them to everyone. Please check them out, you'll not regret. That's it. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of video ideas, but they're long a time consuming. So sorry if I become a bit inactive, I'm trying to not be just another playlist channel. I have some good ideas for this October, so stay tuned for that. I never asked that, but I would really appreciate if you subscribe, and please leave a comment with your favorite performers. I love reading comments. Thanks for watching once again, and adios.